let us pray. Gracious and loving Lord, we're tired, we're hungry, and we're sore, but we are here. We are here to claim the title of United States Marine and join those who came before us. And for this, we are truly thankful to you, our God. 55 hours ago, we started off on our crucible, a defining moment, not just in our boot camp training, but in our lives, and you went with us. You were there through all the difficult times, through the fear, the anger, the pain, the endless hours, through the humps, the obstacles, and all the problems to be solved, but always you were there. You forced us to rely on each other and on you, and you prepared us by making us a team, preparing us for this day when we join the band of brothers and sisters known simply as the core. Please, give us your grace this day that we may live up to the legacy of the Eagle, Globe, and Anchor in service to our core, our country, and you, our God. Amen. On February the 23rd, 1945, after five days of some of the bloodiest fighting in World War II, five Marines and a Navy corpsman raised America's colors atop Mount Sarabachi on the island of Iwo Jima. When the photos of this single act reached the newspapers, it quickly became the national symbol for pride, respect, and esteem for all America's fighting forces. Three of these Marines would be killed in the battle for Iwo Jima, and the Navy corpsman would be wounded. 
These brave men have long watched over your beloved Corps from on high. They have been watching you these past 11 weeks in your quest to become a Marine. They have been watching you with special interest these past three days as you challenge the Crucible. There's a smile on their face right now because they now know that their sacrifices were not in vain. That the nation and the Corps for which they bled and died remain in good hands, your hands, and that their legacy is safe into the 21st century. You set out on a quest to earn the title United States Marine when you stepped upon our yellow footprints. You were young men and women who left the familiarities of your hometown, not knowing what challenges lie ahead of you. Throughout recruit training, you learn that the Marine Corps finds its strength in our foundational value of honor, courage, and commitment. All that you've accomplished here on this island was created to ingrain those three characteristics into your heart and soul. On this day, you become full-fledged members of our family. For you have paid your dues and been found worthy. In a few moments, you will be awarded the Eagle, Globe, and Anchor, our most cherished emblem by your drill instructor. The chill you felt as the colors were raised this morning was a fusion of our core values into your soul forever. You are now the guardians that will ensure O glory forever flies. May God keep each one of you in the palm of his hands. Semper Fidelis. I'll know how you reaffirm your commitment to your country and to the Marine Corps by ministering the oath of enlistment. Raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear that you will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that you will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that you will obey the orders of the President of the United States? and the orders of the officers appointed over you according to regulation and uniform code of military justice. So help you God. Arms down.
charge of your new Marines and feed them a warrior's breakfast. Our first, first sergeant. sergeant. Awesome. 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 Awesome.